Hi friends, um, I haven't uh, posted many videos in the last few weeks, uh, so uh, but I have worked on the machine. Uh, I did a few things uh, off camera and I wanted to uh, just make a quick update of uh, what's been done. So you can see behind me a, a bunch of parts I've cleaned up um, and I've you know modified a few things and stuff so I'll just pick up the phone and do a quick tour of the of the parts and what I've done and um, yeah so let's do it okay so uh, this here is the uh, drawbar uh, cylinder and the uh, locating bridge I think it's called uh, this assembly with the uh, Pulley, the, the belt guide, or something. Anyway, so this has all been disassembled and cleaned up. Uh, the pulley also. Uh, the pulleys, both pulleys, they're pretty much uh, scrap. I'll have to uh, buy new ones. I'll go for the Podzi uh, pulleys, I think they're called. Uh, these guys, the uh, strap benders or uh, idlers i'm not sure how, how they're called but anyway all of this has been uh, disassembled cleaned up reassembled and also cadded um the spindle i cleaned it up i cad it uh, it's been uh, ca uh cad yeah whatever um this here is the spindle motor all these parts this was so gunky dirty uh it's just it absolutely needed to be cleaned uh these bearings i think need a replacement um this here was just like full of gunk thick uh gunk this is the the base where the shaft comes out see all cleaned up and this is the top of the motor all cleaned up as well uh, this has all been cadded as well uh, this here I cleaned up as much as I could but I didn't want to uh, touch this uh, surface too much I'm not sure how this should be cleaned if you have any insight about that I'd be uh, very interested but uh, anyway, I did uh, the best I could uh, here. Uh, these parts I still have to cad, but uh, they're all being cleaned up. Uh, these are the servo motors. Uh, this side has been uh, sandblasted and powder coated, all of all three of them. And one thing I did here, because I want to try uh, to do my own. Uh, controls um, I uh, removed the um, what are they called uh, the, the uh, resolvers and I installed an encoder instead um, so I uh, designed uh, this part here which will be eventually machined in aluminium as soon as my machine works but until then I've uh, 3d printed the part and it's you know it's nice and stiff um yeah uh yeah so all of this has been uh, cadded and is uh added to the uh, uh 3d drawing i'll uh, show it to you uh, right now oh no first 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 something else i said i would uh, show you so uh, here it is this is the um the uh way lube all installed and also I have these uh, parts that have been uh, sandblasted and uh, powder coated these are tracks uh, are for the, the springs so yeah very nice and clean super happy so uh, yeah let's have a look at uh, the CAD now Okay, so uh, the CAD, let's have a look at the CAD. So this is uh, the table, of course, as you can see all the gibs, 
are installed and they all uh, you know they all move and all the joints are in there and everything uh, yeah there's not much there um, then uh, the saddle you've seen pretty much but uh, yeah, it has all the way lube included uh, all the gibbs um, this is the, the, the hard stop um, the sheet metal these are the guides for the, the, the springs uh, that hold the way covers uh, yeah uh, this here uh, one of the servo motors uh, I'll show you the, the CAD here inside I didn't CAD this part I've put it in red to show that it's not been catted really um, but otherwise it's all good this is the part I designed that um, that uh, it is kind of an adapter for the the encoder um, yeah that's it uh, for the servo motor the spindle motor there was a lot of work here uh, as you can see, I even have the, the, the name plate. I just took a picture and glued it there, but it's, it'll be nice to have uh, uh, the info right there in the CAD. Um, and if we look inside, you can see the stator and the rotor. Uh, this uh, copper area um, is, takes the place of uh, all the, 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 the wiring. Um, but otherwise, I mean, you know, even the the armature and uh, everything, the bearing, uh, I think it even has, uh, let's see, <laughs> even the balls are uh, rotating and everything. It's pretty nice. Uh, there's a lot of detail, uh, especially... Uh, that part here um, let me isolate it maybe and there you go yeah so lots of details I eventually want to install an encoder here so uh, that's pretty much why I wanted to have uh, all the details and the measurements here so that I can modify it and add a, eventually add an encoder so I can do some rigid tapping with the machine. I'd like to try that. That'd be fun. I'll isolate. So yeah, that's the spindle motor. Um, this is the spindle itself with uh, all of the, the drawbar uh, it all has the joints and everything the pulley it's quite detailed if we look inside uh, analysis uh, there you go you have all the Belleville springs and uh, all the little parts this I could you know I couldn't really draw it exactly because the inside because I I don't really have access or and the bearings in red here shows an area that I, I haven't seen so uh, the bearings inside and everything how it's made I don't know but uh, otherwise uh, it's uh, quite complete even the markings <laughs> the little magnet here okay the uh, idler uh, assembly this also moves it has the, um, the, the uh, sensors and and all that even the little uh, bearings here it's quite detailed 
now um, the belt guide the location orientation bridge it's called and I'll draw bar um, draw bar cylinder um, yeah and this is the full assembly of the head I still have to draw the um, to uh, to model the, the, the way lube that hasn't been done yet but otherwise as you can see all the gibs are in place they're all uh, moving and oh that one is not uh, the joint here is not good shouldn't do that I'll have to fix that but otherwise these here are working okay spindle is real nice and as you can see um, when the, the pulley um, is oriented the magnet is oriented with this and as I'll be able to show you later but once the pulley is oriented this way the spindle is oriented parallel to the tool um, the tool changer uh, so it's uh, yeah it's all working um, well this is one of the gibs uh, the column uh, I have the lead the counterweight and all this was very very dirty oh uh, one thing I'd like to talk about right now maybe uh, you can answer me in the comments uh, there were um, like rubber pads underneath between uh, this block and the column uh, casting <clears throat> and they were there they were pretty damaged uh, and I decided to remove them and install this uh, straight onto the casting. I uh, bought uh, shorter shoulder screws. So uh, let me know if, if uh, I shouldn't do that and if I should have uh, rubber, reinstall rubber pads here. But I don't know. I, I'm, I don't see why these parts shouldn't be uh, straight bolted to the casting so let me know uh, otherwise uh, not much here that's pretty much it well I, I have all the details uh, even the link uh, and all that okay uh, this is the uh, y-axis ball screw uh, and servo motor and if we have look at an analysis uh, you should see all the contact bearings inside and the, the seals and the nut and uh, everything is in there. There's quite a lot of details and uh, of course our my, uh, my part I designed. Uh, this is the x-axis ball screw. The ball nut is very detailed and quite looking pretty good even on the inside you can see uh, all the, the details it's looking pretty good I like how uh, it came out analysis there you go and this is the, the hard stop with the Belleville uh, springs on both sides and all the bearings and everything it's all there and this here is the full assembly it's starting to be pretty uh, heavy uh, as you can see it doesn't move uh, super fluidly um, oh, as, as I was saying earlier if we look at the spindle and the tool um, the tool changer both are um, like parallel when uh, when this is uh, oriented uh, correctly yeah that's what it looks 
looking pretty good. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. This is like my time for me. I, you know, when I uh, want to relax and uh, I just I pick apart, and clean it up, and bring it up here in my at my uh, desk and take my ga calipers and you know. I, I like doing this. It's uh, relaxing for, to me. Anyway, so uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching uh, this video till the end. And uh, see you uh, on the next one. Bye.